so this will be a bit of a random video. I'm going to try and show you a little bit about what to expect when you eat local food at local restaurants or rooms and what you expect to pay for it. Now obviously it depends where you are. We've been to Indonesia before, about four years ago, no, three years ago, for a month. Spent most of our time in Java, a little bit in Bali, uh, Gilles as well. This time we've been in Indonesia for another month. We're just finishing up our, our time here. It's about four weeks later. We're still in Lombok. I'll show you what it looks like here. Uh, Lombok, this is on the west side, no? Northwest side? North side? I'm not sure. It's in Gigi. Uh, you can see Bali on the far side. Alright, so first things first. Alcohol is expensive in Indonesia, as you can expect. Um, it doesn't really matter when you buy beer in a supermarket or in a restaurant, so it's always the same price. Some places are more expensive. Expect to pay for a large bintam anything between 40 to 50, sometimes even 60,000 rupiah. This is 35. This is the cheapest I've ever seen it at a restaurant. And this is happy hour in Singigi and Lombok. If you go to a supermarket, you'll probably find it for the same price. 36 to 40,000. Expensive. 40,000. Small bintangs normally around 35,000. 25 to 35,000. So, unfortunately, it's quite pricey. If you're in Gili, sometimes you have options for somewhat cheaper cocktails. We've found in... The other side of Lombok in Kuta Beach, uh, you can get cocktails at happy hour for around 40 to 50,000 rupees. Uh, buy two, get one free sometimes for 100,000 rupees. And um, uh, that's about the best you can do, I reckon. So if you want to save a bit of money, drinking is not the way to go. Um, an alternative to alcohol is obviously some juice. You can get freshly squeezed juice at most places, even small places, as long as they've got a blender, they'll whip you up some juice. Uh, depending on where you are, it can cost anything from 10,000 to 30,000 for a freshly squeezed juice. Lombok is a little bit cheaper than the Gillies. Uh, Bali is actually cheaper, you know, for some reason. So anything from 10,000 a Kuta Bali to 30,000 in Gillies. Uh, uh, Lombok side is probably around 10 to 25. Alright, so we're going to be going to one or two restaurants. I'm going to be jumping maybe over one or two nights here to show you some of the local food and give you an idea of what you have at local places uh, cost effectively. Food that costs between anything from 10,000 to 25,000 rupees. Alright, hello guys. We in Singigi, Lombok, and we're in our last few days here in Lombok. It's a bit noisy around us, so hopefully you can hear us. Now, we've spent almost four weeks in Indonesia now, and we'll talk a little bit more when we're inside this place, give you an idea on other options. Now, this place is uh, it's like a buffet-style place. Yeah, they have a set menu, a la carte menu, which you can take, uh, you can order from, or they've got the buffet-style, where you pay per serving of vegetable and meat. Yeah, so you pretty much go up to the buffet table, you take what you want, the lady checks your plate, and she hands you a ticket with a price on, and you just keep going back, and she keeps handing you tickets until you're done. You can and also there's order so off the much menu. to choose from. Yeah. You can eat here every night, five nights in a row, and you'll have something different every night. So we'll show you what it looks like inside, we'll have a bite here, and then later, or tomorrow probably, we'll go to another place just to order a few more local dishes, so you can compare them or show the prices as well. Okay. Cool, let's, let's go. Okay, have a quick look at what these guys got on the a la carte menu. You can see here, uh, Gadu Gadu, 20,000. You can get this for anything from 15 to 35, depending on where you go. Tempe. Sate Tempe, so this is probably like a skewer Tempe, which they fry. This is quite common for to pay for rice, anything from 2,000 to 5,000. But this is not all a la carte. And then some sprinkles. What else they got here that's local? Chai. Chop chai, 20,000. Chop chai, ayam. Is it possible? Oh, that's seafood. 20, ayam, 18. And then normal, 15. Chop chai is a very nice vegetable dish. So here's all the mee goreng. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, And of the kwatu, so they've got the variety of, depending on which noodle you want, the ordinary round fried noodle, or then the kiaotio, which is the flatter noodle. And you can get each one in the variety of seafood, chicken, or normal ranging from 15 all the way up to 22, 24 Yeah, 000. so the migraine uh, would be then cheapest is uh, 15. Mm, on the menu there's also obviously nasi goreng or fried rice for 15. They're pretty good, well priced I would say actually, not bad. 
We haven't really seen Aussie grain for cheaper than that. No. Sometimes from vendors you get it a little bit cheaper, but if you're in a restaurant, 15,000 is a very, very fair price. Ah, oh, it's. Uh... Uh, don't give you an idea. Fried fish, this is like a little omelet here. Yeah, beef, beef rain down, shrimps. That looks like very spicy. Fried tempe, chicken, sweet chicken, fish, fish. Fish, I think. This is fish as well. Yes. Fish. Yeah. Yes. The buffet. An interesting selection. Lisa, you want to say what you got? Mm, so I've got some mushrooms. This is jackfruit stewed, which is very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, some tempeh. Fried tempeh, tempe, yes. tempe. This is a chicken, which this has got a sweet, sweet chili sweet chicken. Sweet chicken, yes. This one they call an omelet, which is an egg something. Corn fritter. Some lovely beans mixed with tofu. tofu yeah. And I think that's it. That's right, my veggie your plate. plate came to 25,000. Yeah, not bad. Mine looks almost the same actually. Yeah. Almost the same. Rice, omelette, fried tempeh. I got like uh, little anchovies here, grilled with peanuts, sweet chili uh, chicken, and then two different veggies. veggies and mine came to 26. Pretty good value overall. And you'll see this is what the. Uh, this is what the tickets look like. So you just get handed a bunch of these and then you pay for it afterwards. And hopefully we'll get some juice. Anyway, so yeah, you'll find these kind of places all over. You just need to know where to look. And that's really good value. So yeah, we pay 3,000 for every portion of vegetables. Okay. And 5,000. Roughly around 5,000 for the meat servings and we've, we've had places where it's a little bit more expensive where the veggies like 5,000 and the meat's like 10,000 so, or even 20 so it can be quite pricey but especially for the vegetarian options it can really be quite price effective that's highly recommended all right so we dug in mm. well as you can see I clearly enjoyed my meal mm. we'll show you the next place later to give you a better idea of what else is available. I'm going to give you another idea here yeah, of a few options at a cheapish warung. Uh, some noodle soups, mi ribes, from 11,000 all the way to noodle soup with egg, sausage, vegetables, baking. Uh, yeah, you can also get a few more local specialities called tempi korem. Very much like uh, tempeh cake cut up and then fried, it could be quite spicy, 10,000 and then obviously nasi ayam, nasi goreng, slightly on a higher price but not bad for Lombok or I mean, if you're in Bali you expect to pay double that in any case. And then we'll show you these guys today, chop chai, yeah you get it for 15 and then gado gado which is actually quite a, quite a favorite of ours, both of these are quite nice. Uh, 15,000 is a real bargain and then fried fish or just plain rice in this one. So it's a fairly simplistic gado gado. I've definitely seen better than this but uh, not bad. We'll try another place close by for a more local vibe soon. Usually gado gado would consist of a mixture of sort of uh, steamed oil vegetables, sometimes they have eggs, sometimes they have tempeh, sometimes they have um, like tofu, sometimes some other stuff like tomato or whatever you've seen all kinds of versions uh, this one's quite simple it seems like it's boiled or steamed vegetables with, and obviously it's got the ubiquitous um, peanut sauce you see this peanut sauce it may be spicy but normally it isn't it was like a ooh, kind of a, not quite sure actually Looks innocent enough. This one's got potato, carrots, green beans, maybe some cabbage. Pretty good. This time we had a really, really, really local street side eatery. It's not a warung, it's like a temporary version of a warung, although it's semi permanent. But we've actually eaten here before, and the food's pretty damn good. This lady knows what she's doing. And uh, just to give you an idea, now we're still in Singigi and Lombok, Sunday evening unfortunately, so the streets are super busy and it's very loud here. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll quickly show you what I can see on this menu. So we have the usual fare, nasi goreng, 17,000, 
chicken. And you can see there's some nice veggie options here. Some interesting um, kung kung ayam pelleting. So we've had some of these things before, like pelleting kung kung, which is just a pile of weird different vegetables with extra chili. <laughs> I think. No, it's a plate of chili with some weird vegetables. And then you gotta gotta you can see for 25. But I'll show you the meals because we've ordered a few things. Uh, this is typical gado gado. Uh, it obviously looks different depending on where you are as well in the in Indonesia. We've seen various differences. Normally it's uh, steamed or fried green vegetables with tofu, egg, this was got tomato, sometimes cucumber with it and it always has this peanut sauce sometimes it can be quite spicy but always delicious this one was around 20 but 25 you can get down to anything from 15 to 40 depending on where you are typical migurang you can expect depending on where you are in indonesia you can pay anything from 12,000 to 35,000 i guess for these kind of meals uh, now i want to share with you one little secret if you're in Indonesia, if you're looking for an affordable lunch, you have to go to find a local place that only does one thing. They, it's called Nasi Champur, spelled C A M U R. And it's normally, it's, it, Champur means mixed rice, and you don't always know exactly what you're gonna get. Uh, prices range from 10,000 to 20,000, depending on the place. And how you know where to get Nasi Champur is you'll see a little glass box with plates stacked up where you can see there'll be some tofu, some tempeh, maybe some chicken pieces or some fish, fried fish. And you'll just ask one nasi champur and they'll put a scoop of rice and then a little bit of everything that you want with a nice spicy sambal. Keep in mind, some places you'll see a sign that says nasi champur, but otherwise you'll see normally a little glass box. And some places have a little table where you can sit outside. Uh, just uh, ask the people there, Nasi Jampur, and it's a fixed price for a portion. Some places do it a little bit differently, they will actually give you an opportunity to sort of help yourself. But normally they just give you what they have for the day. Yes. For lunch we, we got some, um, what's called Nasi Jampur. It's like a... What's the proper definition for it? A mixed grill. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. So normally you'll have obviously the rice, you have some form of vegetable, in this case it's like a green bean and cabbage. There's always an egg of some sort, like this is a boiled egg. This is called tempi. Now you get different versions of tempi. This could be something crispy, tofu. I told you tempi is hot. And then there's chicken. Oh, sometimes there's a little bit of beef. Uh, so it pretty much depends on what they got, but the problem is it's almost always hot. Right, Lisa, uh, how's your how's your tempeh, darling? I ate like two tiny pieces of that with yeah, the rice. So yes, 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 I literally had that much little tempeh, and it is blistering. Ooh, that's, so hot! That's not a hot pot. There's a, a sambal here oh my word. that will take the skin off your lips Yo. and burn a hole through your throat. <laughs> And that's if it's mild. I don't think I'll be managing this one. What? It's all good. The, the guy beans did, are very good. Um, giggle a bit when you asked me if it was spicy. At least he was honest. When we asked whether it was spicy, he said, Do you laughed? And he said, Yes, I think so. I can feel that spice, the chili burning in my nose. This is that's so hot. hot. My eyeballs are sweating. <laughs> is that normal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just when you think you're sort of used to burning, burning food, spicy food, every now and then you gotta get uh, you brought back to earth with a fud. Mm. Oh, the egg is very nice. Maybe if you mix everything up. Mm, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Damn. Good lunch. How are you, I might have to go find something else. All right, the good news is we found Bobby Gulling. Ah, there's nobody here. It's a local place secret place and apparently it's spicy but we don't know yet for twenty-five thousand, what we have here is an awesome bobby green plate oh, we don't know if it's awesome yet in all well, fairness it looks pretty good together with a bowl of soup and the we're good, about to find out how spicy it is the good news is it seems like there's opals that come here as well for the same stuff mm. and there's no tourists here which is and weird there's no menu all you do is you say how many portions i want you a want. plate give me a plate now i think so it looks, it looks like a mixture of different types of pork. There's like a little bit of crackling. 
There's a sausage. And then there's a little sausage, maybe some steamed and maybe some boiled and it looks like a curry version as well. <laughs> and then you get this little soup. I guess we're going to try and see what It seems rather innocent. It looks like a clear broth. But there's a potent kick. I wonder what's in there. Whoa. Like chili of some sorts. You know? okay, this is just the minced one and I had like a little piece of it with rice. Ooh. We did ask the lady if it's spicy and she said... She laughed this off silly. She said yes and Lisa said, is it all spicy? She said no. No and then she both started laughing. Mm. What's happening Lisa? <laughs> this is ridiculously spicy, my lips are on fire. Actually last night we had some seriously spicy um, pork somewhere else and it prepared my taste buds. I didn't have the spicy one last night so this is killing me today. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, we had a local place called uh, Warung Coconut. No, it's actually called Maru. No, no it's Warung called Warung Coconut. Coconut. If you look on Google Maps, yeah. it's Warung Coconut. And then they have the most delicious buffet style. Yeah, it's interesting. They do buffet style food. So you grab a plate, you can have stuff with some rice, and then a whole range of vegetables. And vegetables are like 5,000 rupee a first portion. Mm -hmm. and then you Grab some meat or fish, and it ranges between 20 and 30,000. It's just quite pricey, but if you like the vegetarian options, uh, you can make quite a super, super nice meal. Yeah. My, my plate is 25,000 rupiah, and I've got some vegetable fritter, bean, bean fritter, curd fritter, corn fritter, fritter some noodles, and this is called. It's like know, a. It's a nice green with tofu. It's like Chinese cabbage with mm. tofu. Yeah. And that's. Cost like 25,000 yeah, yeah, very nice. This is it for us tonight, so as always, thanks for watching. And give us a like, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>